Here is a teardown of the new Conair 3Q brushless motor hair dryer. This hair dryer was not easy to get apart whatsoever. The way you disassemble this is you pull out two screws here that are on the back of the handle and you release the sticky tag on the side which uh, is right here. You peel that back and it's difficult to get this thing apart. You can pretty much get it apart to the handle up to the switches here but then beyond this part it's it's very difficult to get this thing to detach. If you look at this cover here you'll see that there are some hooks on the top of the cover that hook on to the other part of it so it's hard to get those hooks to unclasp and get the thing apart. Anyway, I did want to damage it. I did pry it a little bit and the prying didn't help. I think I just simply pulled it. The plastic on this thing is kind of soft plastic. It's actually high impact durable plastic. It seems like it wouldn't crack if it took a hit or a drop. It's, uh, it seems a lot better than other hair dryers I've looked at. So let's take a look at the innards here. I'm not a double E or an expert, but I've torn things apart. These switches are well done. They're uh, installed as a slip-in assembly into the plastic. Here we can see how the power cord is entering the unit here. Power cord is coming in. It looks like it goes right to the main switch here, which has a uh, an off in a low and high setting. So it looks like the mains are taken off. When you go to off, which is handy, here's the heating switch. I'm guessing this is probably just simply a... Um, well, the wires aren't very thick, so maybe it does go through some kind of controller to uh, control the heating element. Not sure. <laughs> They have a uh, capacitor here, which is simply just loose, which is shoved in there. Anyway, my objective was, I was wondering, how could I slow this thing down? It, it, it runs really fast. Uh, the slow mode in this thing is like the high mode on other hair dryers. So I simply wanted to figure out what is in this thing and how does it work? So there's a heating element, which uh, is typical to most hair dryers with a looks like a fusible link there so if it gets too hot that fuse will blow and uh, what else do we have here oh yeah they have a little thermostat there so if it gets too hot the thermostat's gonna gonna kick out which is handy so you won't burn up your house if you leave it running looks like they have a little diode in there too of some sort okay this is the most interesting part this motor is brushless and sure enough um, if you look at the profile of the motor Here's the fan. The motor itself is only about this thick. If you look at my index finger, the motor goes from here to here. That's the whole motor. It looks like it's a sort of a stepper motor. And if you look at the PCB board here, this is tagged on back of the motor. And there are three wires going out of the assembly total that run the thing. So there's three wires out of this black box safe. And then here, we have a lot of um, wires on this thing that go internally. There are a few plugs. There's a plug here, of course. There's a plug there. They have some potting material in here so it won't uh, <coughs> vibrate and shake things loose. And here's a, um, a Texas Instrument um, driver chip that I found. And I looked up that number of that chip and I really couldn't find much about it. There's not much about it. It is a TI chip. And I was thinking, is there some way that I could uh, look at some of the inputs of that chip and slow this baby down? But uh, I can't find much about it, unfortunately, at this point. There's also an NEC, some type of power driver chip here, something right here, that's present. There's a large cap here. And here's a smaller bunch of stuff they have in this potting material. Looks like a capacitor. Another capacitor. I'm not sure what this thing is. Looks like a solid state device of some sort. So, this is all a mystery. If I could find the schematic for the uh, TI chip here, the application note, which I have not found, I checked Alibaba, I checked TI. It's just not findable, so not yet. 
that would probably give me a clue on what inputs I could mess with and slow this thing down. They do have a uh, little spot here where it looks like they could have put in an option or something. I could probably install a small switch there. The coolest thing to do is we put some kind of digital rotary switch in here. So you could put a, a digital switch right there, a spin wheel, and you could spin this thing up and down in speed. Then you would have a constantly variable speed on this hair dryer, which might be pretty cool. Because the the low setting on this thing is really fierce. I mean, it, it as you can see from my previous video, it puts out a lot of air. But the good thing about that is it's going to dry your hair really fast. Um, you may not be able to style your hair very well, but you'll definitely dry it. So that's about it for the inside of this thing. Of course, this all pieces back together. And maybe I'll try and have a video where I quickly put this thing back together without making mistakes. Wouldn't that be fun? So that's about it for the insides of this. It is quite well made. But it is consumer electronics, so, you know, it's not going to be built like a battleship. I did look up this chip here. I, I don't remember the number of it. It's like a DRV, boy, and it's got like a five-digit number after it. This chip is probably $5 retail, which is interesting. So, unlike most consumer-level hair dryers, this thing is uh, pretty advanced for a hair dryer. Again, there's no brushes in the motor, so this thing really spins and you can see you can spin the motor it doesn't stop very easily it coasts so if there are brushes there it wouldn't spin like this so it's a pretty uh pretty nice design if i could put this phone down somewhere i could probably uh throw this back together and show you people how that works so i need two hands for that so maybe i'll uh, i'll try that in the next video well thanks for watching and if you folks find any way to slow this thing down, please post comments on uh, on what I could do to put a digital input into this controller chip to uh, command it to slow the motor down. This motor is basically a um, probably a pulse with modulated stepper motor. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's brushless and it looks like it has a uh, motor control chip and a, and a driver chip here, so it's definitely brushless. Okay, let's go on to putting it back together in the next video.